Hey guys, this is uh, Take in Velvet Studio. You know about uh, sort of emitters in particle emitters in Roblox. They can't be controlled that easily. Well, if I play this example, you see this fire, or this emit emitter, if you like, try and reach to this uh, this part here. Here we go. I've worked out a way of actually doing it. Here we go. So if I move this over. You see that? Nope. Oh. Would help if I moved it the right way. There we go. Let's move it down. Yeah, so if you wanted to, you can uh, make some kind of uh, wind blowing the smoke and the fire around. There you go. The way I'm actually doing this is I'm controlling the acceleration of the particles. Like, if we watch that. Now, can I move this? And No, I can't. So let's uh, copy that down. Acceleration of that. <coughs> so it's 5, minus 5, 5 and minus 9. So if I move this over. Go back to that one. There you go. Yeah, so the script itself is it is really really simple. I thought I had to do uh, sort of angles and things. Apparently you don't. All you do is taking the position of the part plus the part where the images are in and then you divide it by the distance which is what this is between the two that's the direction so you get the sort of the magnitude of the uh, the space between the two blocks if you like and then you work out the speed how fast they're rising up times by a value which I worked out to be 1.25 I think that's uh, adding 0.25 per loop, if you like. So it gets faster as it goes up. And the smoke just stays the same all the way up. And then all I do then is just take this value here and just pass it to the acceleration of the flames and then the smoke acceleration to the smoke. And it changes direction. That's all it is. <laughs> it seems a lot more than what it is. So this was about a five minute job to see if I could do it. And as you can see, she works. <laughs> and of course, I'm just using the part of the brake just for the position. So I can actually visualise where it's trying to get to. I could actually have uh, it hard coded as a vector 3 value rather than just a part. So then if I wanted to I could have a uh, sort of a sine wave where it sort of does this. As if the wind's sort of blowing it. And of course the other way. Tell you what, I'm going to release this code as is, so you guys can actually uh, play around with that. <laughs> it's a very, very simple uh, example. Anyway, this has been Tegasa in Roblox Studio on my controllable fire or emitter, if you like. And I catch you guys later. Oh, and the example should, the link should be in the description below this video before I uh, forget, which I almost did. Anyway, Tegasa signing out.